can you really run a YouTube channel off of an iPad Pro? I mean, script writing, thumbnail making, photo editing, and everything up to the video editing. Why yes, yes you can. Granted, I know this channel doesn't do crazy views yet, but I've seen people talk about how mainly video editing off of an iPad Pro is absurd and that it shouldn't even be a thing. By people, I mean on a recent episode of the Genius Bar podcast. Sam from iUpdate and leaker John Prosser from Front Page Tech were talking about the new M1 iPad Pro that was released, that was announced in the April event. Sam went on a rant about who really needs the M1 iPad Pro and now with its current software and such, it was unlimited. And so John asked him, what, what about people who do video editing on it? Would they need extra RAM and power for their edit and all this? And Sam's reply was, I don't know why you would, meaning why would you do video editing on an iPad Pro? On top of that, in a review by Zolotech for the new M1 iPads, he mentioned that he does everything with his iPad Pro except video editing. So that got me thinking, like a lot, because everything I do is with my iPad Pro, like everything. I don't have another computer. Just to preface, if you haven't seen the Genius Bar podcast or iUpdate, Front Page Tech, or Zola Tech, go check them out. They are amazing. Genius Bar is my favorite podcast. They are hilarious. They, only, they don't only do nerdy tech stuff. They are really funny and it's just very entertaining. So anything I'm saying here is not against Sam from iUpdate or anyone at all, because they have so much more experience than I do in editing and everything when it comes to YouTube and they're doing really well, go check them out. But here's my take on it, if you're interested. Let's get into it. Like I said, this channel has very few subs right now, and the goal is to get that number to increase fairly soon. And you can be a part of that by hitting the subscribe button and sharing. I'll give you a cookie if you do. That's a lie, I'll, I'll give you an emoji cookie in the comments, I guess. Anywho, I've made a good number of videos and I have recorded and edited videos for a couple other channels, as well as using the exact same workflow I use for this channel, Shot on My Phone. And thus far, it's gone very well. I use the standard notes app for my script writing b-roll planning, and really anything that requires me to put words on a page. It's my favorite notes app ever, and I use it for absolutely everything. To make a list about my favorite anime movies, Ride Your Wave, best movie. All the way up to budgeting my expenses and more, also through iCloud or whatever, it automatically syncs to my iPad or to my phone so I can work on it wherever, and that's just wonderful. After the notes part, I record. For that, I don't use my iPad, I use my 12 Pro Max with an external microphone and I'll have my script on my iPad and it's really nice and works really well. After I record, I shoot my B-roll with, again, my 12 Pro Max. And once I have all my video takes and B-roll shots and everything, I airdrop them from the 12 Pro Max to the iPad Pro and that transfers really quick. So that takes away the need for an SD card. Okay, so before we get into the video editing, a couple of things that I had to do when I first made the channel, which again, I did all on the iPad Pro. I designed the logo for Shot on My Phone with the iPad as well, as I use an app called Mojo, which is a really great app. It's used for Instagram stories, but I use this app to create my intro and outro that you see in the beginning and end of my videos. I downloaded royalty-free music and put them into Mojo and created what you see. Now, I will say, I did have to spend $35 for the entire year to use Mojo, but it's a good price and I use it a good bit, so you know. Okay. Next, the actual video editing. I use everyone's favorite editing app, LumaFusion. LumaFusion is super nice and honestly very, very easy to use. It's also only $30 compared to Final Cut Pro, which is $300. So yeah, for someone who's never edited video before, LumaFusion has been very easy to figure out and I've been able to make my videos fairly quick. And the more videos I make with LumaFusion, the faster I get when it comes to video editing. Okay, so maybe it doesn't have as many functions and features that Final Cut Pro has that 
pros use. But LumaFusion has plenty of features and I've run into no trouble at all when it comes to my video editing process. Also, with the new M1 iPads, LumaFusion is coming out with new updates to take more advantage of those chips and it's just gonna be wonderful. There's a new feature called multicam support, which I'm really excited for and that's gonna be super helpful in making of these videos. Okay, so after the video is exported from LumaFusion directly to YouTube as a private video, I go and make my thumbnail. I use an app called Canva. I use this app to make my wedding invitations and everything paper-wise that we use for the wedding. And it has a lot of different editing options, adding images, and customizing texts, and even templates and everything for thumbnails. And it's, it saves your stuff for faster work and it's great. Next time you need to use them, it's right there. I can make it on my phone, then it syncs to my iPad, and fantastic. From there, we go to YouTube Creator Studio online, and I update my description and title, and I add the thumbnail and do all that stuff, and put the video as public. See? Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. All of this done on my iPad Pro. While I'm on a break at work, or at home on my couch, no SD cards, no large file transfer, no cables, no nothing. Also, in my tiny one-bedroom apartment, I don't have room for a desk with an iMac, and I really don't want a MacBook. There are some downsides, though, such as all the internal and cloud storage these videos take up on the iPad, but I have the two gigs of iCloud storage. It's working so far, and as things progress, I will continue to manage my storage and learn how to do it better. So yes, iMacs have bigger screens and fans and faster SSD and RAM and all that. And MacBooks are the same, just portable. And you can make a case to get an iMac or a MacBook rather than the iPad Pro and Magic Keyboard, especially when it comes to the price. But honestly, this is probably a hot take, but from my experience, Mac OS, with Mac OS and iPad OS, I really, really prefer iPad OS much more. It's simpler, it's easy to use, it's cleaner, but also, I just didn't wanna buy another system when I started this YouTube channel. I do Zoom guitar lessons as a part-time job, and I've always used my iPad Pro for that. And it's really nice to use with the pencil and the keyboard, and when I do eBay work with my dad, it's nice to use the iPad as a laptop sometimes, and then sometimes I'll ditch the Magic Keyboard and just use it as a tablet. And that's super nice. It's a two-in-one, and I love that. All that to say, I can make better use of the iPad Pro setup than with a MacBook or an iMac that'll just tie me down to a desk. And I can't afford to buy another system to use for specifically for this channel on top of my iPad, so I use my iPad for everything. And it's worked well so far, and I love it. Maybe I'm missing a few big things, and I'm just a moron for thinking these things, and I'm just doing the hard way. Who knows? But if that is the case, you probably know more than I do. So let me know in the comments. I always love being told when I'm doing something wrong. I just, I love it. But. For some reason, if this video has eased any new creator's nerve about starting a content creation based business off of an iPad, let me know in the comments too. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ring that bell. Even if you hated the video, it still helps me. Like I said, I'll give you a cookie. Anyways, I'm Jake, this is Shot on My Phone.